I just want to start with a very simple question. No one has the pulse of our oceans like you do. How's business? Well, uh, global growth uh, or global trade will grow around somewhere between three and four percent in volume terms uh, this year. So, so business is uh, as expected. I think the key message from me is that uh, we are not seeing a dramatic impact on global volumes from the current trade tensions. You are the experts at putting containers on ships and moving them around. I want to talk about sustainability uh, in a moment and the risks that you face. But is President Trump your major risk? This trade war between the United States of America and China, you have to adapt and adjust to that. How will you do that? Well, right now what is going on on the ground is actually that the imports uh, to the U.S. Uh, are booming, uh, both because the U.S. economy is doing uh, very good, and, but also because I believe many importers or retailers in the U.S. are, are buying stock ahead of uh, possible, uh, uh, possible tariff hikes. That, of course, uh, uh, will have, a, ha have a, a, another side of the coin uh, sometime next year. Uh, exports from the U.S. to China has already fallen quite a lot. So, mm -hmm. so we are seeing some impacts in, in that market. But, but overall, uh, at the global level, uh, impact is, is, uh, is not really uh, significant at this point in time. But Mr. Sku, in August, you uh, really warned against the potential trade war. Are you now feeling more pessimistic or more optimistic? Well, I think it's very hard to be too optimistic at this uh, point. I mean, obviously, there are uh, very difficult uh, negotiations ongoing uh, still ahead of us. Uh, and, and it's very difficult for, for me, for us, to judge where this is, uh, this is going. Uh, I take some comfort in the fact that uh, the U.S. has been able to uh, uh, reach a new agree agreement with uh, Canada and Mexico, uh, and hopefully that will also be uh, a sign that at the end of the day, compromises will be made on both si sides to move, uh, move us forward. If there is a breakdown in trade relations between the U.S. and China, what does it mean for the global supply chain? Is there going to be a, a parallel global supply chain? Is it different countries trading with each other or is it the same people <clears throat> just excluding China and U.S.? I think the practicalities of this is that most of what the U.S. import from China, they actually don't make in the U.S. anymore. And, and therefore, the first thing that will happen if tariffs go up a lot is that the, the U.S. buyers, the U.S. importers will start buying more in Vietnam and in Indonesia and Southeast Asia and, and Bangladesh and, 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 and so on. So, so I do believe that, the, that right. the, the first step will be a change, a re reconfiguration of the global supply chains. Soren, I want to congratulate you on your 2017 annual report. For any of you that want to be students of the logistics of trade and of moving stuff around, the Maersk 2017 annual report is truly an act of God. Bring up this statement here from the chief executive officer, and it's a usual statement. Companies can no longer stay on the sidelines when it comes to global issues, what we are and will be uh, for our size, knowledge, reach, and leverage. I get it. And and then you've got one number, 43% reduction in CO2 in the last 10 years. What you people do is a major polluter. How do you get the rest of the industry to catch up with your momentum? Well, uh, the first thing we do is actually communicate around what we are doing. Uh, I think it is important that we recognize that we, uh, in, in, in Maersk, burn a lot of uh, fossil fuel, a lot. And, 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 of course, we also move almost 20 percent of the global trade doing so, so it's, it's, it's not that strange. But, but every ton of fuel that we can save uh, and avoid, you know, is not mm -hmm. only a contribution towards less global warming, but probably even more so a contribution to, to, to less pollution here and now, less sulfides, less noxides, less particle matter that right. actually kill people today. So, so I think we have, we have a, a, a real good reason 
people wanting to do something. And it just also happens to be good business. A lot of our customers are interested in this agenda. And also for every ton of right. fuel that we, we don't consume, we're saving money. Mr. Skoo, most people would bury it in the fine print. You don't. You put it out front. You had a brutal 2017 in an always dangerous business. You had seven employees lose their life. I want you to tell us what a CEO does about safety when he loses seven employees. What are you actively doing to make an incredibly dangerous business safer? So what we have been doing on the safety front this year is that we have uh, done a major study of, uh, of our efforts over the last 10, uh, 10 years. We had a good momentum uh, in terms of reducing accidents. And then in the last two, three years, we've, we plateaued. Uh, and that has led us yeah. to, to, to actually agree to a complete new, uh, a new approach uh, in terms of uh, how we go about this. And, and what I can do as a CEO is to, to talk about it, communicate about it, to make my people understand, our people understand that it's okay to stop operations if they're unsafe. That is the, the you know a choice that every employee should have. Uh, Mr. Sku, where's automation going in the container shipping industry? I think the biggest uh, immediate uh, opportunity is probably on uh, automation in the, in the in the ports, in the container terminals. Uh, of course, we are also working with uh, uh, technology on, on the ships that automate things, but it's, it's hard to imagine that we will operate big ships without people anytime, uh, anytime uh, in the future or any, any in, the, in the near f or medium term uh, future. So, so, so the opportunity is on in the ports where we can get better productivity and also uh, make, make, uh, make uh, the ports safer, a safer place to work.